What's up, foodies? DJ Cupcake and Top Chef Liz are ready to bring the flavor to you as we open for another day. Ain't that right, Top Chef Liz? Yeah, boy! <sighs> Sorry, I guess that's just your thing. Anyway, what's going on today? Well, I just received this printout from our online ordering program. Here, check it out. Hold up. Are you sure that's correct? I double checked the order online. Yeah, 200 is correct. Yo, that's crazy. We just turned the ovens on. I know, and it's all for the same event, the annual chicken dance competition. Man, I DJ'd that competition. It was dope. Really? I thought Roger Rooster and the Poultry Polka Band uh, provided the music every year. Uh, well, they do, but one year Roger was sick, so they called me up last minute. I told them, don't worry. DJ Cupcake can wing it. So, Roger was feeling a bit foul? Hey, why are chickens good at drumming? Because they have drumsticks! Ba -da -boop. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get it? Drumsticks! Uh, okay, okay, so, so what's up with the order, Top Chef? Well, they want us to feed all the dancers for the competition, so that means 200 meals. <sighs> what are we going to do? Hold up. Don't forget about your food truck fairy god DJ. To do that would be reprehensible. <laughs> Seems like I'm on a roll with my puns today. Unless that order says 200 puns instead of 200 buns, we need to start cracking more than jokes. Now, do you remember what I told you when you didn't know what to cook for the food reviewer? I sure do. Okay, you told me that good chefs always remember the, their theme. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they come back to their overall focus. Mm. Our main course here at Honor Roll is Matthew 6, 11. Give us this day our daily bread. Yo, all you foodies out there, say it with us on the count of three. One, two, three. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. Jesus taught us to pray every day for the bread that we need every day. From the time we get up till our head it's the hay when we're going to school or we're going to play. So memorize these words, they are simple to say and ask God to give you what you need today. Jesus taught us to pray every day for the bread that we need every day. And every day, Jesus taught us to pray. So what do you need today, Top Chef Liz? Ah, oh, I need to figure out a way to fill this order. I mean, how do we get 200 meals prepared and delivered to the chicken dance competition? It seems like we need a miracle. Yo, the Bible's got tons of miracles, including some involving food. Oh, you do get a lot of cooking inspiration from the Bible. Hey, is there anything in your cooking journal about catering a large event? Yeah, man. I remember reading about a really big lunch. Don't know who got the catering bill, but I did jot down some notes toward the back of my journal. Oh, oh okay. Well, let's see here. A lunch for 5,000? That's the one. Oh, all right. Wait, it says here that Jesus fed over 5,000 people with just one boy's lunch. That, that's not enough to feed all those people. Man, I thought so too, but Jesus makes it happen. He wanted them and us to know that he loves us and cares for our needs. Ha! Huh, you know, if Jesus ran a food truck, I guess he would never run out of food. If Jesus ran a food truck, you'd be out of business. Huh, you're probably right. But how cool would it be to have Jesus feed you with his own hands? Yeah, and that sounds like another daily special. By God's hands, we all are fed. I better prepare to share this with our chef friends. Thanks for your help, DJ. Ain't no thing. But a chicken wing? I'm out of here. Later, Chef Liz. Bye, DJ. See you later, foodies.